Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This loading screen is telling us a lot about what could be coming this Friday in FIFA, and it's very, very hype. So I wanna talk about that and how EA was even alluding to this a couple days ago, right? We showed that in some tweets that they posted earlier, but there's a lot of content, a lot to talk about with festival football, but we're still in the middle of ultimate team of the season. So I wanna talk about a little bit of ultimate tot stuff today. But again, focus on what is festival football and why is the hype building? Because that's a huge promo. The last time we had it was FIFA 18 and we're very excited for it because festival football is a big promo for this game for the summer. And that also means that some sort of Euros content is going to come out. Now, of course, EA does not have the actual licenses for the Euros. So it's going to be a bit interesting to see what they do with the car design, dynamic images and stuff like that. But... With this loading screen, that really lets us know that we are getting some sort of Euros content, which is a huge W, right? Huge W for this next couple of weeks, honestly, the next month of FIFA. So I want to talk about Festival Football, Festival of Football today, what it means. I want to also talk about Path to Glory cards, Man of the Matches, and how that could kind of, you know, wrap itself in with the Euros and the Copa America. But I want to show you guys two squads from earlier FIFAs. FIFA 16 right here, this was Festival of Football back in FIFA 16 for the Euros. Basically what they did was they dropped international man of the match cards for players that had big time performances inside of the Euros. And I think that's going to be the main theme. That's always kind of been the main theme of festival football are these man of the match or cards that are performance based, kind of like an inform or kind of like a man of the match card based off, based off of how well they do during the tournament. So Last year, or not last year, last time we had this in FIFA 18, though, they took it to a, another level, and they also released, like, some flashbacks, like they had the um, classic European heroes, they released these cards into packs, and if you take a look at these dates, it wasn't just, like, every Friday they released cards, right? They released cards on the 20th, the, the 22nd, the 25th, the 29th, like, they were, f for a month solid, they released 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight different squads of festival of football players with a lot of high rated stats um, and some really, really good looking cards, right? I mean, you see these team of the match days. That's what these TOTMD is. These are basically from the games that were played during that week. They released upgraded player items for um, players that performed really, really well in these games. Now, the one point that I'm going to make and show you guys with these cards are these cards went higher and above the actual um, team of the season cards that were out in this game. If you take a look at this Isco, right? This is my perfect example. Isco had a 94 rated team of the season item and he ended up with a 97 rated festival of football cards. So these ratings that we see from FIFA 18, they went above the team of the seasons. That is 100% what we could be seeing this summer too with man of the match cards, depending on which players actually get them. So I think that's one thing that I'm excited about and that could happen again this summer. But again, that's kind of the gist of what the um, festival of football has always been like uh, in FIFA for FIFA 16 and FIFA 18. It's all about those man of the match cards giving a boost to players that perform well in real life during those games. So I think it's going to happen this year for the uh, Euro 2020 and also for the um not the Comedy Bowl, but the uh, Copa America. I think Copa America and the Euro, since they're both going on, I think we could have Man of the Match cards or whatever card design they're going to use for this. Hopefully, we get a new design, which I think we will. If we have a loading screen like that, um, I think we will have some sort of new card design for those Man of the Matches this summer, which is pretty hype. Uh, so I do think that's going to be coming. But also, dynamic images. Are we going to see those? Because they don't have the rights. And, you know, if you think about it this year, too, even some of the UCL Man of the Match cards, they don't have the rights for it. Especially, even though EA has the actual rights to UCL, we see these Champions League Man of the Matches, and they don't have dynamics. So, it makes me think that we're not going to see dynamic images for the Man of the Matches that we would see dropped this summer during Festival Football, which would be a bit of an L, right? But, um... I think that, you know, we would kind of get over that if the cards have insane stats and hopefully they can figure out some sort of way to put dynamics on those cards. That'd be really, really cool. But also based off of that loading screen, what else could we see with Festival of Football? Because if you think about it, if this promo actually starts on Friday, what's going to come out on Friday? Because the first game is on Friday. They're not going to be able to drop man of the match cards in packs on Friday. So what we could be seeing this 
this start date, when festival football starts, it might be sort of an SBC based promo. It might have like some sort of summer heat vibe to it as well. I think that that could be something that is involved here. And I also think that there's a outside shot that they could do promo they did in FIFA 18. And I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but it was Path to Glory. Now these were live items that were upgraded based off of a team and a player's actual performance. If they got man of the match cards, these got upgraded. And like this Isco card when he was released was an 87 rated card. But again, as he continued to get man of the matches, he even jumped over his team of the season because he got a 95 rated um, man of the match. So this 87 or 88 Isco, it was like a once to watch, but it also got upgraded for these um, festival of football items. He went all the way to a 97 rated card, right? It was insane. If look at some of these other cards in here. Higuain is a 93, Willian is a 91. So basically the countries that go farther, um, and also at the very end, the Path to Glory, the, the, all the French PTG cards got a nice boost at the very end. So I think that's one thing that we could potentially see if there are going to be cards in packs this Friday. Based off that loading screen and, you know, even like the little checkerboard, I'm going to show you the loading screen again. I keep showing it to you guys. But if you take a look off to the right, kind of down below my face cam, you'll see like a checkerboard. Almost looks like a finish line, right? That could be signifying something like the players that get to the finish might be seeing some, you know, higher boosts and rating, like if their team actually wins the Copa America or the Euros, right? So there's a lot of stuff that could be happening with that as well. I think that's kind of the biggest things, in my opinion, with um, this Festival of Football promo that I think people are like wanting to know and they're excited for. But I think one thing's for sure, right? Those man of the match cards are gonna be something that we can almost count on, I think. But I'm just really curious to see what they do in the first day or so if we're not gonna have cards in packs, if they're not doing like a path to glory type thing. Um, and if this is also gonna be like a summer heat type vibe. Now, one thing I will say is, since we have had this loading screen, I do feel like we will see some uh, we'll see an update to it. I think we'll see an update to it and we'll see some the car design hopefully released. Now you might see like Footwatch tweet out a code as well um, in the next day or so if that is gonna be happening. But that'll be really cool if we have a new car design that is released. And like they do with these promos, right? They always update the loading screens as we continue to go on. So, I mean, this happened, honestly, boys, this is actually kind of crazy because exactly the same time last year, the first time we ever saw glimpses of summer heat was during this week of Ultimate Team of the Season. So it's just like last year where we had loading screens with a new unknown promo coming out. But except this time, we know what it is, right? And it's Festival of Football. So along with the cards, it'll be in packs, like with Man of the Match items and stuff like that. I think it's 100% going to happen that we will have a lot of SBC releases as well. And again, that's why people are, again, thinking, hey, that's why we maybe didn't get a huge boost on Conte, or that's why we didn't have like 99 rated team of the season cards, potentially, uh, is that they knew that this festival football promo was going to be coming, and players like Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar were going to potentially get higher rated cards based off of Copa America and the Euros in their respective competitions. So, um, but until we actually start getting man of the match cards in packs, I feel like they might use festival football and, you know, what they did last year with Summer Heat and kind of combine those two things. So we might start seeing insane SBCs this Friday. Now, of course, we'll probably learn more information as this week goes on about what this festival football promo is going to look like. But again, this is a big time promo. It really is. This is a very fun promo. And again, a lot of you guys remember these cards, these man of the match cards uh, and the summer, not summer heat, but the festival of football cards from FIFA 18, because this is a absolutely crazy time of the summer. Oh, I forgot to mention the last thing too. The winners of the competition in FIFA 18. So the entire French national team that won the World Cup they got another set of boosted um, festival football cards at the end. And that was one of the coolest things I thought that just the entire French squad players have released. That was really, really, really cool. So I hope they do that again this year. They had a festival fo a football team in the tournament. Um, I think this was like rest of the world, classic rest of the world heroes. So more of like, um, you know, the Copa America type heroes or just other, other cards they could throw in packs, of course. I mean, there's some big names in here, right? Endo, Danny Alves, uh, Dava Luiz, Tim Howard, Valencia, this Alexis Sanchez, a Tevez that we just got to, uh, Eto, right? So, I mean, there were so many cool cards that were released um, 
in this FIFA 18 with the World Cup. So I really, really hope that they do something along this level of hype this year because that'd be so cool if they would do something like that. And that's why there's a lot of hype for, I mean, this 99 Suarez was like mental. I don't know if you guys remember this at all, but Suarez had a 97 tots, but then he had the 98 and the 99 card, which were just ridiculous. So hopefully, along with some skill move and weak foot upgrades, EA Sports, because once we get to this point in the year two, that's something that we've seen multiple times. We need to see that again. Skill move and weak foot upgrades for whether it's an SBC card or whether it's some of these man of the match cards. Um, we do need to see some of that. So hopefully that comes out with the festival of football as well. Now, as we get more information on loading screens, if EA tweets anything out, we're going to continue to talk about it here, discuss it and talk about what it means for the market. But just moving into, again, what could happen today on FIFA for Wednesday, we don't have any code right now for a guaranteed um, ultimate team of the season SBC, which is very, very interesting, in my opinion, that we do not have that code just yet. Now, a lot of these TOTS cards, they're going down a little bit, right? I think there was a little bit of selling when we saw the loading screen yesterday. I don't know if you're really going to see panic. You might see some price drops later on as we get into like Thursday night into Friday morning. You might see a little bit of panic. It depends on what happens on the loading screen. And if we earn, learn more information about what this festival of football could look like. Um, but it's all going to depend on the content, in my opinion. And since we don't have anything added to the code yet, I don't know if that SBC is coming today, but I do feel like if it does not come, the 90 plus deluxe tots and the 88 plus tots upgrade could very easily be re-released because those are expiring today. And I think those are very easy SBCs that people would love to do again and um, would, you know, would kind of take the place of an ultimate tots guaranteed, even though that's the SBC that we do want. By the way, if we get an ultimate tots guarantee added to the code, I'm thinking 88 or 89 rated squad. Once again, it's not going to be cheap because of course you've got a big name. You have big name players that are in this pack. So hopefully that does get added to the code because that'd be really sick. Now again, tomorrow's rewards day as well because today is Wednesday. So if you, we do see another 88 plus, 90 plus or ultimate tots guaranteed, I do think you're going to see fodder again explode. And if you wanted another short term scenario where you could get out on some of this fodder, if you think there's going to be cards and packs this weekend and lightning rounds, and stuff like that, then maybe you do try to sell some of the fodder that you invested in 84s, 85s, 86s, because it will probably spike up again today if we have good content. And it might be an opportunity to get out before maybe some stuff, you know, goes down if there's pack supply this Friday. In my personal opinion, if you bought like 84s at 4K and 85s at 8,000 coins, I think you might have gotten some of the lowest prices that we'll see over the next month unless there's really not going to be any hype SBC content as a part of festival football, which I don't expect, but hey, it could happen, uh, then I think you just keep holding, right? I'm going to keep holding a lot of my 84s, 85s, 86s because I seriously just see them going higher because I think festival football is going to be a big promo. I think it's going to have like summer heat vibes kind of intertwined with it. And I think there's going to be a lot of SBCs. So that's just my personal take on what I'm going to do with fodder. But if you did want to take the quick cash, I think today could be an opportunity with the hype, like an hour or two after um, the content drop. If we do get some TOTS upgrade packs, like we saw earlier this week, or an ultimate TOTS guaranteed, there might be an opportunity there to kind of take the coins on some of that stuff. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today. Now, of course, yesterday we had the Tevez SBC, which was dope. Uh, so our guess with the uh, Conmy Bowl flashback item was correct, and that was actually the card that came out. Um, and you really didn't see that much panic selling on the market in general. I'll be completely honest. I, I guess I cleared my transfer list, but um, you didn't really see that much panic selling. Now, I sold a couple more cards just off of fluctuations that I bought previously, uh, and some cards are still down a lot. Um, but I still think you'll see a market rise on some of the market after rewards. Because again, there's so many coins that will be coming onto the market on rewards tomorrow. And we'll maybe talk about that on tomorrow night's video a little bit more too. But people are going to get lucky and pack Ronaldo from rewards tomorrow. People are going to get lucky and pack Salah, Messi, Lewandowski, Mbappe, De Bruyne. A lot of coins coming to the market. So some of these team of the season cards, since they are the best available right now in this game, I'm very interested to see how some of these perform after rewards on uh, Thursday of this week. So like this Alfonso Davies, which right now is very inflated, 590K. Um, that's a card that I think will do very well this week with the links to Kimmich um, and stuff like that. You know, maybe you watch some of your cards like Ruben Diaz, as a lot of people are probably going to be packing 
um, Cancelo. Now, this card's actually already up a decent amount. I think he's like 270, 270, 269. He was like 245 earlier in the week. So if you see like a drop on this card, might be something you would could potentially get involved with because that would be a card that would link to a very common red pick uh, for people this with DeVry, Cancelo, and maybe even Harry Kane, and probably Oblock are going to be very common red picks and in those ultimate tots packs uh, or the elite tots packs. So I think those are going to get supplied on the market a decent amount. But if you're sitting here wondering, do I have to sell cards before we actually get into what this festival of football promo is going to look like? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you have to sell cards because, again, I really just feel like it depends on the content that EA drops later this week. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to expect insane content day one, but maybe I'll, be, maybe I'll be surprised, right? And I only feel like it's going to really drop the market a ton if we get insane SBC content, if we get incredible live items that are path to glories that have a huge boost, team of the season level boost, and will have the potential to upgrade with man of the match items as well. That's the only thing that I could see crashing some of the market but i really feel like it's got to be the spc content that would do that to make people sell stuff so we'll continue to monitor what this week looks like with festival of football and with the last couple days of ultimate team of the season content in fifa 21 but all eyes are pointing towards this festival football loading screen i hope they update it today i think they will I think they'll maybe add a card design maybe a little early for that but maybe some hints right throw some hints out there ea and just drop us a bone, right? Tell us what this festival football with all the crazy colors is going to be about. So it was nice that they added the festival uh, football text because that was not there earlier. And just show the colors. We're like, what the heck is this? So I'm excited to see what this promo is on Friday. It's going to be a lot of hype with the Euro starting and with this promo dropping. So hopefully EA do the business. But let me know down below what you think this promo is going to look like. If you think it's going to be a normal festival football with man of the match cards or do you think ea is going to do something different and something new but that's the video for today we're going to have a lot more about festival football coming up in the next couple of weeks and of or next couple of days leading up to this week finale and the start of the euros so again smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you have any questions subscribe if you're new it's been nate the photo count and i'll catch you guys later peace out <laughs>